Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz, Prince William and Kate Middleton are letting go of tradition on their wedding day. A lot of them, actually. Uh, Prince William is not even going to wear a wedding band once the couple weds, which I had no idea that was the case. Scandal. Very, right? Now, another tradition that's getting thrown out the window, toss in that bouquet. There's not going to be a throng of those eager girls vying for the princess flowers. Instead, she's going to lay them on the tomb of the unknown warrior. Also, the royals are not the only ones letting go of old rituals. Of course, many brides and grooms today are shirking tradition and making some new ones of their own. You know, Patrick, you got married 10 years ago. I was 15 years ago. So yeah. I don't think there was that really wave of letting go of tradition yet. Do you, do you think? No, I would agree. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would agree. And in fact, some of the weddings that I've been to since my own wedding, yeah. there's a lot of times where I've seen stuff and said, oh, why didn't I think of that? Or, you know, that would have been cool to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, Jen and I talk about this all the time. And so much goes into the, so much unneeded stress goes yeah. into the planning of yeah. this thing. And yeah. then, boom, it's over. Mm -hmm. I mean, any, any advice that I would give to someone who's planning a wedding is just, Enjoy it more than stressing about it. I know that's easy to say because mm -hmm. I've been through mm -hmm. it, but it's like, man, it's like you think about it. Like, why did it I is, even It's care all that build up just for one Stupid day, time. and then all of a sudden you're like, day, oh, it's four great. Hours. It's done. It's yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. I have to tell you, one of the things that I wish that I had done more of was take what I like to call mental pictures of the day, yeah. like recapturing my mind, mm -hmm. like moments. So I actually have a very good friend, Donna, who you know, Donna Cutting, and when she got married, she said, all I can remember is me all day going to her. Mental pictures, mental pictures. Yeah, She's like, so I don't have any mental pictures. I just have you going, mental picture, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But uh, it, it, that's definitely good advice for, for mm -hmm. brides and grooms is to just kind of slow down and try to embrace the day more. My, you know? friend, my friend, my roommate, my college roommate, Mike, uh, said that to me during my wedding. He said, because he had gotten, uh, he was married, I think, the year before we were, and yeah. said, listen, just look around and just... Just take, take mental in. pictures yeah. because you'll forget all of this mm -hmm. stuff. You do. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what did I say to my dad when I was dancing with him? You know what I mean? Like, I look at the video and I see blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what was I saying? You know, you don't remember. But we're talking about but letting even, go of even dancing with your father. Like, some yeah. people don't do that anymore. Some That's people don't true. have the traditional... You dan the you know the bride will dance with her yeah, dad right. and the and the groom will dance with his mom mm -hmm. and then they'll dance with the other ones and yeah. then whatever. I mean that I feel like has kind of gone out the window. Getting married in a church, let's say, sure. has has gone mm -hmm. out the window. Now you're doing destination weddings. Now yep. it's not invite every single relative that you have. It's it's you know pick and choose who you want. I and think even just um, the decor and everything like that is just. Yeah. has become so less traditional. Well, all the yeah, traditions yeah. that I think are great that we've seen let go is the whole, like, all pure white. I mean, now you see splashes of color in, in bridal gowns. Yeah. The receiving line. Thank goodness that tradition has gone by the way. So, oh, you know, you're just pouring like out of the church and, and yeah. you're like shaking hands for like an yeah. hour and everybody's standing there, I'm hungry, I want to go to the reception. People yeah. hardly do that anymore, mm -hmm. which one is good. One thing that, I, that we did at our wedding, I was about to say that I did at my wedding, yeah. there were two of us involved <laughs> in this, right. is one of my best friends is a woman. Mm -hmm. And you may remember this. Uh, her name's Kate Merrill. She's actually a TV anchor in Boston. Mm -hmm. But she's one of my best, best friends. If, one, if not my best friend. And she was actually in the wedding on my side. Was, oh, that's nice. So, was she wearing a uh, tux? No, no, no. Oh. But I had... Uh, I she had could, you know, you could have gotten like a feminine type one. I don't know. Well, she wore... Time. The four uh, groomsmen had tuxes on. Yeah. And she yeah. had a black dress on. Yeah. And it was... Oh, see. Okay. So she was kind of... Yeah. She like, fit tied in. Into but that. it was weird. You know, it was like, whoa, we're really breaking tradition. Oh, yeah. I have a uh -huh. girl on my side side of the wedding, which at that time, you know, it's only 10 years ago, but I remember people, people like, well, you know, can you do that? Well, now even know. just like what they wear, it's not like, okay, cookie cutter, and, right. and here's mm -hmm. my bridesmaids, they're all wearing the exact same dress, and it's the same length, and this, that, right. and the other thing. Right. Now it's like, you kind of wear whatever you want. Exactly. Sometimes it's either same color, but different whatever styles, style or That's just, important. seriously, you know, they have five different dresses. Bridesmaids dresses. Just be because comfortable. Too. Bridesmaids are not all the same sizes, let's face it, and when you have to pick one dress yeah. and all fit into it, And just hard. styles look different. Oh, some of those bridesmaid people. dresses you look back at oh. now. Just, I feel bad for the ones I made my horrible. girls wear. Did you write your own vows? No, we didn't write our own vows. Was that wasn't scared. like the thing to do. You I know? did the standard vows. I almost threw up on myself when I was okay. trying to through my vows. So if I had had my own, if Jen and I had our own vows, oh my God, waterworks. Oh yeah, you did oh, cry. I, I remember I that. I cried. Oh you yeah, did. I cried. Such a sap.
Courtney, did you cry on your wedding day? I did. From, oh. For most most of the what ceremony. What am I doing? Why am I getting married? <laughs> Not because that was sad. My <laughs> husband did write his own vows, so to hear it that day for the first time, I think I probably missed most of it. But he printed it out for me, so I have it saved so I can reread it. We're hearing some funny stories of, uh, from some of our viewers from their wedding day. Do's and don'ts. So we'll start on the live blog. Uh, this is from Tripp. He says, bouquet toss and garter would be a thing of the past if it were up to me. Jean said, I wouldn't give up any of the traditions. I am a little upset that William will not be wearing a ring. Why not? If you're going to commit, commit all the way, she said. And Erin says she hates the cake smushing part. She said, we actually reached over our shoulders and fed the maid of honor and best man. It was priceless. She said, neither knew about it. So that's a pretty uh, good surprise that day. Here's the poll right underneath the uh, live blog. Which tradition would you ditch? A, the wedding ring. B, throwing the bouquet. C, tossing the garter. D, getting married inside a church, or E, not seeing the bride or groom pre-wedding. I know a lot of people aren't doing that these days anymore. We have a couple of uh, comments on our Facebook page, and Christine Reed says the bouquet toss she would get rid of. Jason Ede says dancing with the bride. Men always seem to try to get out of it. And Marie Terrell says feeding each other cake, although it represents caring for each other, it could be done in a more civilized manner. So we'll see what the coming of ages if people decide to get rid of all those things and what happens in our poll at the end of the show.